What's going on everybody? Good evening or morning or afternoon wherever you are. This is Metro Liner XLZ here with another video announcement for everybody for mainly for my transit enthusiasts but I guess uh, seeing that I can't stop nobody else from watching or, uh, everybody else can watch this too but anyway I want to go ahead and basically give you all a little rundown of what's been going on in regards to the transit enthusiast stuff just wanted to let y'all know that I've officially finished reorganizing all of my recordings on SkyDrive. They, I have moved them and organized them by transit agency, and they all each have their own folder. Like they have, for example, their like all my Alexandria Dash recordings, they sit in that folder. The MTA Maryland stuff, they sit in another folder. So basically, it's like each each transit agency has a separate folder. And I did that so that, you know, there for those who have asked me to go ahead and reorganize them in a better format, I have done so. So now, if y'all wish to download all my stuff from one trans agency or another in a zip file, y'all can do that because SkyDrive allows for that. But I've also went ahead and opened up another account on Mediafire.com. So that way I can upload recordings over 50 megabytes and I might just wind up moving all my recordings there all together but it all depends on what y'all have to say about it if y'all want me to go ahead and move all my recordings over to Mediafire instead of SkyDrive then I'll go ahead and do that but I'm not going to do anything unless y'all ask for it and that's basically how I've been I'm, uh, if, if y'all ask for it and I have it within means to do then I'll go ahead and do it in regards to my transit stuff I don't mind sharing pictures and whatnot and recordings but I'm not going to do it for people that don't want it I'm going to do it those for those that want it and mainly for me because who um, who gets better entertainment out of it than, than me myself posting my stuff because I like to share but besides that I have a little special commentary that I like to share everybody a little compassionate understanding if you will for those transit fans that and insist on you know keep continuously complaining about how one transit agency isn't running like it should how how the fares are not like this and how it should be running more frequently and how it should run to this place and that place listen it's about time that y'all stop complaining about those issues and start taking action to address those issues. Like for example, here at Richmond, there were people that, including myself, that were tired of hearing about the GRTC raising their fares. And then there was a task force issue in which their city council wanted to go ahead and create a GRTC study and task force, which has some underlying contentions, but the thing about that is, there were people at Richmond that came together, including me, that came together to form a union to go ahead and speak out against these things. And not only speak out and complain about these things to city council and GRTC and whatnot, but to also work with them to go ahead and create a solution that would be a benefit to those in GRTC and to the general riding public. Look us up on Facebook, Richmond Transit Riders Union. There are many other transit riders unions across the country that are taking up and taking a stand against abuses by their government, by their local governments, their state governments, and their transit agencies that run within their cities. We know more about transit, public transit, than most people in the general public and a lot of elected leaders. But the whole thing is, is what is the point of us having all this knowledge if we're not using it to our advantage? Our words carry weight because of this advantage. And we need to utilize that advantage to come to, and come together and go ahead and take action to prevent these fair increases. To prevent these reductions in service. Because otherwise, if we continue to sit there and complain about it on a whole bunch of forums and politically based sites and whatnot, nothing is going to get done because in the end they're going to have their way. They're going to cut service if nobody says anything about it. 
That's what most of these you know, these agencies in these state governments and city governments are looking for, to pass a lot of shit by stealth. And if we do not come together, say something, take action, and not just take action, but in the, take action in a way that allows for everybody to create a long-term solution that benefits everyone, we're basically going to be seeing hour and a half service everywhere and a whole bunch of cities that have that have large bus fleets. And that's going to basically be useless and pointless. And then what will we have to enjoy as trans enthusiasts? So let's go let's let's put all this backstabbing and bragging and shit. Let's put all that shit to rest. And let's come together. We need to come together now more than ever. Because of the fact that there are a lot of pressing issues that are in terms of government and the transit agencies themselves that are trying to cut and reduce so that nobody else can enjoy it. Nobody can else can utilize the transit systems we have now. If anything, we need to be coming together to make them better. Because again, we have the knowledge. And but what's the point of us having this knowledge if we're not using it? If we're sitting there complaining about everything on that the DC Metro isn't doing on the DCATS form. If we're sitting there backstabbing each other, turning against each other, turning turning against friends that have been there for us over the years that are bragging about how New York City is better than Philadelphia or Philadelphia is better than New Jersey. Who has what? What transit enthusiast do you know has really has that kind of time to brag about that bullshit? Enough with that. Put that shit to rest, and let's come together so we can go ahead and fix transit. Put our brains together, because when we put our brains together, we can do anything. And I know some people are going to ask me, well, what the hell are you doing to talk to improve transit? You're just sitting there complaining. But the whole point is, for those who have been paying attention, I have been involved. I've been speaking out at city council meetings when they've been passing the fare increases. When they created the GRTC study and task force, I spoke out against that. And I have footage to prove that. I'm part of the Richmond Transit Riders Union, and we, as the Richmond Transit Riders Union, have went out to the, and spoke with the GRTC CEO, and we're still we're still invited to go attend the meetings every now and then, because we want to create a solution instead of continue to complain about how the GRTC is not running the way it's supposed to. We're working with them to create a solution. To see where we can run, get get service to run more frequently in some areas, to improve service, to reduce the fares so that they are equitable and fair to everybody. And the thing is, though that needs to happen everywhere, not just here in Richmond or Los Angeles, but everywhere: New York City, Philadelphia, New Jersey, D.C., Miami. Let it, it can happen anywhere. We have the knowledge and we could use that to change a lot of shit that's going on with the transit agencies in these cities. So why not come together and do what we can to change it? And this goes for a lot of other things, but I'm not going into those things because I'm focused on transit. So let that be what it is, people. Take my words into consideration. And with that being said, Y'all have a good night, or morning, or afternoon. But take what I said into consideration, and let's take action now. Get started. Don't wait another minute.
introduce your speaker. All right, my name is Montague McGrew, and I'm speaking in opposition to um, item number 10. And I would first like to serve by saying that even though that this task force is something that's a long time coming and it's something that is well needed, it's questionable because of the character of the two people that wish to form this task force, for example, Mr. Excuse Trump. me, sir, we're not going to do personal insults. No, this is not a personal insult. Please down some I'm, I'm saying this. I consider that to be a personal insult. So if you lean any personal insults, well, out of your comments, that would be appreciated. Well, all I'm going to say is this. Because of the fact that one person doesn't have a clear position in regards to public transit, and one wants to actually do something to denigrate public transit even further to where it's nothing but more, nothing more than a bunch of vans running and tapping a magnetic strip cord, that's not going to work for a city of this size, of this population density, and of this demographics. It's not going to work. It's just as counterproductive as it is insane. Speaking of which, I mean, because of the fact that the, the characters of the people I want to question are in question, it is for that purpose, for that reason, that the task force should, be, should consist of those who are actually from civic organizations, from advocacy groups that actually can give an unbiased set of solutions. But when you really think about it, it's really pointless. I mean, didn't the comprehensive operational analysis from GRTC already point some of this stuff out? And I think we have already made clear that some of the things that can actually be done almost immediately which y'all still are sitting here reluctantly to carry out because of, I guess, what Mr. Jewell said, y'all are too compliant. Perhaps y'all are keeping too tight with on things. Maybe if y'all would actually take some of our recommendations up to, up to par and start listening to some, we would start uh, paying attention to some of the things highlighted in the comprehensive operational analysis, then y'all can actually say y'all are doing some in regards to public transit. But until that time, I don't think so. If y'all want to make this task force work, put some teeth in it. Otherwise, it's just going to be nothing but a group of pencil pushers doing absolutely nothing, but having the exact same stuff that has been done before by two different organizations. Thank you. Thank you, sir.